I don't like eyeballs, and to be honest, the idea of me holding a spinning piece of metal near anybody's eye on purpose seems like a really bad idea. But I do appreciate that this article is actually very gently instructive um, for a clinician who is brave enough to give this a go. So if this is something you're curious about or something you'd like to add to your clinic, or your clinical skills, I definitely recommend that you give it a read. I totally agree, Peggy. I think, you know, the Q-tips are scary enough for me near the eyeball. And so reading this article, even just the title, I was like, well, certainly this isn't for me. But I will say the article very generously spells out step by step how to do this, um, which I really think could help build confidence. The other thing, um, the author, DJ Hoistler, I know did a podcast episode with this as well that I think talks through some of probably the burning questions that you have at the end or um, goes over some of those FAQs with this procedure. So for anybody that is interested in learning this, I think there's some great content to help you do that. 